So this is my favorite and I can't believe I actually found 10 different outfits all from Goodwill. Does anyone else feel like January just went by like that? Like I just blinked and it's already February. And you know what that means. Spring is finally right around the corner. So a new season means a new wardrobe. I've seen a lot of commentary lately on the nature of fast fashion. And I have to admit, I participate in a lot of it. I know you've seen a lot of my shows. I go to H&M, Forever 21, and you know, find things on Amazon. So I decided to take some steps towards being more sustainable when it comes to my fashion choices. That's why I am heading to Goodwill today to participate in the 10 by 10 wardrobe challenge. That means finding 10 items to make 10 different outfits. 10. It's like a capsule wardrobe on steroids. I'm doubling down on my sustainable fashion choices, not only by limiting it, but by thrifting it. Fingers crossed that this actually works. So I just got to Goodwill and I'm gonna head in, try to find the 10 items for my 10 by 10 challenge. I am a little nervous. I feel like it's asking a lot to get all 10 items from Goodwill. I feel like the challenge is already hard enough uh, just doing you know 10 items with 10 different outfits, but here's to hoping. I'm saying a little prayer and we're gonna head in and see what we can find. The 10 by 10 wardrobe challenge was started by fashion blogger Lee Vosberg, who runs the website Stylebee. According to her, the challenge is for anyone looking to take a break from shopping and test their style creativity. Guess that's me. Okay, so um, I have a lot in here. I have all my tops. I got the bottoms over here. So now I'm going to try and piece together some outfits that I think would work. On her website, Lee has an entire guide to the challenge posted, complete with her own pointers to making your wardrobe out of 10 pieces. We'll link it below. But man, oh man, I will definitely have some additional tips of my own for you guys after this experience. So the hardest part about this entire thing is the bottoms. There weren't that many skirts, They're especially in the jeans that I picked out, the pants, um, most of them did not fit. So I have one pair of jeans that like kind of works. They have like a more like relaxed fit, which I like. So it's a little hard to like complete full outfits with only a few options for the bottoms. But I have, I think eight items picked out and now I'm gonna go look at shoes. The thing that I was reading that I really took a big tip from was she said, just keep the color scheme kind of simple where things can like mix and match. So that's what I kind of went and did try to keep like a neutral um, kind of like color scheme. So hopefully I can find some shoes. <laughs> I got my outfits and I am going to head to the office and try them on for you. I will say that was a lot harder than, not even, I knew it was gonna be hard, but like that was really hard to find 10 different items to make 10 outfits um, only from Goodwill. Uh, but I really think I did it. I feel confident. I'm really excited to put all the outfits together and show you what they look like. So here are my 10 looks. Stuck to very neutral colors that would all work well together. Nothing super bright or crazy print. First up, I got this really cute yellow knit shirt from Zara and I paired it with an orange button up. Kind of go for a more like, you know, casual, loose feel. So for the second outfit, I paired this tan sweater that I found it actually still had the price tag on it. And I paired it with a brown skirt, not a lot of options in the bottoms, but wanted some kind of skirt. Third outfit, I'm back in the orange button up. At this time, I decided to wear it by itself and I'm tying it at the bottom. One of the hardest things about this challenge was finding a good pair of shoes, but I did find these brown sandals that aren't really my favorite. I found some pretty cute black flats actually that I really like and I paired them with some chinos and a button up striped white shirt. So for number five, I just added the sweater on top of the shirt that I already had on. This is for if there's a little cooler day in the spring or something, you just throw it on. You can wear this to work, you can wear this to dinner. I mean, you could wear this anywhere. And for number six, I'm back in the Zara yellow t-shirt, paired those with the chinos. I think this color scheme works really well together. I love the yellow and I love the blue combo. 
Number seven, I found a very relaxed fit collared shirt that ties at the waist, which I really like. It's very comfortable. I think this color combination works really well, the light blue with the brown. Okay, number eight, I'm back in the orange button up. I tucked it into the brown skirt. This is actually a great look for fall even. Totally wear it in spring, obviously, but like, oh yeah, like that in the fall. Okay, back in the blue relaxed collared shirt. Paired it with some jeans this time. I actually really like this outfit too. I'd totally wear this out, like very Cali. I feel like you can just throw on some flip flops and just like head to the beach. And for my last outfit, number 10, I paired the yellow shirt with the brown skirt and I love it. So my color scheme was, you know, trying to keep it more you know, neutral with like the browns, oranges, and blues. I feel like all those colors work really well together. You can pair them with different things. You can mix and match really easily. And that's exactly what I did. Okay, so I have picked my favorite outfit from the day. I love this like orange kind of rustic shirt with the jeans, even though they have kind of a nicer like loose Cali feel to them. So this is my favorite and I can't believe I actually found 10 different outfits all from Goodwill. So excited about it, but I do have some good pointers, I think, after doing this challenge if you wanna do the 10 by 10 challenge yourself. First being, I started out with shirts, like I picked all my shirts out, but I should have started out with pants or skirts or the bottoms because that was definitely the most challenging. But if I had started there, I could have paired stuff more easily with like that skirt that I got or the pants and, and different things like that. It would have made it a lot, I think, quicker and more efficient. If you are gonna complete this challenge, I suggest that you get more tops than bottoms because you can also kind of mix and match. So layers are the way to go, I think, in this 10 by 10 challenge because that's gonna mix things up and that's going to really diversify and give you a lot more looks. Since I was only going to Goodwill, I went in not having really an idea of what I wanted, but if you're gonna actually curate and go to different stores, I would definitely kind of go in with an idea of the different items that you want, the different colors, and have like an actual color scheme like kind of ready to go from the get-go. One last tip I have for you. If you're going to do this 10 by 10 challenge and go the more sustainable fashion route, I would give yourself plenty of time. Go to different stores and really get good key pieces that you're gonna love and that you're gonna wear. Um, and just give yourself plenty of time to do that and to curate your actual sustainable wardrobe. It's definitely possible to complete this challenge with only thrifting, but it's pretty hard to go to one store in one day and get all 10 items. Let me know in the comments below which outfit was your favorite or if you would have paired different items differently than I did. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week on Try the Trend.